Well, are the Democrats the foxes in the hen house? Are the Democrats the ones that are really putting the squeeze on the middle class? I smell a rat in the hen house, not just a fox in the hen house. Let's start with the big meltdown. Why, when the Democrats are in control of the Congress for over two years now, and the Democrats are on top of these finance committees, as well as having received the biggest amount of money, and that includes Senator Obama, why did this thing come out two months before? I mean, everything that's happened probably was destined to happen because of the Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, housing crisis as a major, you know, uh, caveat, carrot. I mean, it probably did cause the biggest part of the disaster or jumpstart the whole nasty thing. Obviously, there are a lot of factors involved. But why two months before the election? And why did the repo team, Reed, Pelosi, Obama, and let's don't forget Barney Frank, because he ran the finance committees along with Chris Dott. And one of his personal friends was working in Fannie Mae Freddie Mac. Now, these people knew what was going on inside way before two months ago. Why did the shoe drop right before the election? Why, when the Congress was meeting to resolve this for all of us on both parties, did these people come out of the meetings in time to start bashing Senator McCain? Senator McCain and several other Republicans submitted legislation in 05 and 06 to put the rein in on Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, and the Democratic-controlled Congress shot it down. Yet when the crisis happened, they were the biggest screamers complaining, saying he didn't help, he was in the way, why did he suspend his campaign? But they were nasty, they were vicious, they were certainly not bipartisan, and they weren't being honest. They should have been responsible. It was disgusting. I was humiliated. I was angry at the Democratic Party because when they should have been bipartisan, they were grandstanding because they're running for office for the last couple of years. Secondly, they have excused ACORN who gets taxpayer money and it goes out and does all this fraudulent voter registration. It forced and pushed people into raunchy loans along with Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. Uh, where were the Democrats when all this was happening? Um, why would the Democrats have stopped voting bills on FISA, on Patriot Act, on anything to do with national security in a time when terrorism is so important to be kept a rein on? Why have they tried to neuter our military? Why do they want to give terrorists civilian court rights? Um, why do they want to close Guantanamo? Of all those people they've let out, Quite a lot of them have already gone back and killed American or other soldiers fighting the terrorists. I mean, is, is Earth to somebody? Is anybody wide awake here? Okay, so, so they want to cut troop spending. They want to cut the national defense budget. That's not going to change anything. They want to increase taxes, and they say, well, oh, it won't hurt the little guy. Well, let's see. Half of the 95% don't pay those taxes, so then there's nothing to take away from them. The top few people that pay the taxes create jobs, create businesses, create investment opportunities. If you cut everybody off at the nose that is providing stimulus to the economy, how are you going to stimulate more participation? People are going to run like crazy away from our economy if you don't give them an incentive to invest in the market, in the banks, in the businesses. So increasing the taxes on all the people who will be impacting the middle class isn't going to cut it either. Another fox in the hen house, you know, and it's really wrong. Um, the right to protect our homes is being threatened. The right to vote in a union situation and have your vote not be private. All these things are the Democrats. They got their foxes in the hen house way too joking much want to change the language or at least compromise it, don't want to vote for it to be the language of the country when it already is. Energy stopped votes for drilling and other alternatives in a time when it was critical. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting all riled. I mean, I'm just smelling a lot of rotten rats. 
They got it really wrong, and they need to stop bashing the wrong people. I'm saddened by it. I'm disappointed in the Democratic Party. It has got too many foxes in the hen house. And the Democrats do all this investigating of who did it, who, who done it. And they're running most of the committees. I'm telling you, methinks thou doth protest way too joking much.